Everybody doesn't think they're going to die. Well, I got news for them. We're all going to die. This is the day Gloria Taylor of West Kelowna has been waiting for. The B.C. Supreme Court will rule on whether Taylor has a right to doctor-assisted suicide. Taylor went public a few years ago and the B.C. Civil Liberties Association picked up her case, arguing that Canada's criminal code provisions against physician-assisted suicide are unconstitutional and that Canadians have a right to a dignified death. Government argues that legalizing assisted suicide will lead to elder abuse. The 64-year-old suffers from ALS, or Lou Gehrig's disease. She says if Canada's rules on doctor-assisted suicide are changed, the vulnerable, like the elderly, would be protected. It will be only for terminally ill people, only for people that uh, are of sound mind, and only adults over the age of 18. She says that she would take comfort in knowing that she's made a change and that others in her position have a choice of dying with dignity. I would really rest easy then if we had the choice when I died, that people had the choice. Yeah. The last time Canada's right to die debate reached the courts was in 1993 when Victoria resident Sue Rodriguez took her case to the Supreme Court of Canada. She lost and later took her own life in a doctor-assisted suicide. Taylor's optimistic that the judgment will fall in her way. She writes in an email to her friends that she's writing two news releases, one for winning and one for losing, but she doesn't think that's going to happen. She goes on to say, quote, she's thinking positive all the way. Kelly Hayes, Caston and Media. I would really rest easy then if we had the choice when I died that people had the choice. Yeah.